I'm Cassandra Clark. I'm the Project Communications Director for Eden Medical Center. And, and where are we at and, and what, how long has it taken for us to get here? We are in the lobby of the new Eden Medical Center. This is a project 15 years in the making and it's so exciting to be here and just before we open. We're just a few months before we move in our first patients and we're starting training now and doing a lot of work, uh, final work here in the hospital as we start to move in. So it's, a, it's an honor to be able to take anybody through before we move in and see it in its pristine condition. This whole project is a $400 million project um, in, in total. It's a $320 million project to build the acute care hospital. It's an $80 million project to build the adjacent medical office building, which will house our ancillary services, administration, our public conference center, as well as physician offices and our urgent care center. So it's a, it's a pretty significant addition to not just our campus, but the entire community. And ex explain to us just quickly all of the technology that is in this new building compared to the, the old building. Oh, where do I begin with all of the new technology? There is, uh, I, I don't even know how to start. Everything in this building is new. Um, very little uh, is being brought over from the old hospital, you know, certain things, items that we do, but all of the major equipment uh, is all new. We have a new MRI, new CT scanners, new PET CT scanners that are pretty phenomenal. We have new nuclear medicine, a hyperbaric chamber, um, our entire lab system. Much of that will be moved over, but also new equipment uh, for the lab. Our pharmacy is expanded and just a beautiful work environment for our pharmacists and techs in that department. Our birthing suites are all new. We have not just the labor and delivery rooms and patient rooms, but we also have the addition of four labor, delivery, recovery, and postpartum rooms, the LDRP rooms. Um, so everything you can imagine that would be new in the hospital it is here. So it's not just a matter of uh, rebuilding the old Eden Medical Center. We're not going to rebuild what doesn't work anymore. That's a 1954 building. Um, the surgical suites are very small. The rooms are, are multi-bed rooms, two and four bed wards. We're here. It's all private rooms. So, uh, which is a, the, the norm throughout the country now for new building construction, both for infection control, for patient comfort, for privacy, all of those things are so important um, in this, when you strive to create a healing environment for our patients. So this whole hospital and the, the, the idea, the concept behind it is to make it patient-centered. So the services that we provide and where we provide them in the building is really focused on our patients and how they can best access our services, feel comfortable, and feel like they're in a very supportive and healing environment. This is the main entrance to the hospital, the main lobby, and like every, uh, every different floor that we have here, uh, it is accessible to a point. So it's, there are a lot of... Uh, security measures in place in the hospital so to prevent people from walking throughout the hospital and protect our patients privacy so when you come into the public areas you'll have access to the public elevators and certain corridors to get you to main departments and beyond that it's all access controlled for security purposes um, really a great benefit um, both to our patients and our staff but also in greatly reducing the amount of, of noise in the hospital a really big focus for us here at the hospital is uh, privacy and noise control so that you don't have all the typical noises that you hear in the facility. No overhead paging unless it's an emergency. And that's a vast improvement upon the old hospital. Right? That is a tremendous improvement, not just for our hospital, but for any hospital in the country. It's always the number one complaint among patients is the amount of noise that you hear. This is the uh, dining patio for our dining room right in here. This is now the largest outdoor dining area in Castro Valley and it's absolutely beautiful. It's wind protected. We have all uh, gardens already planted and, and growing. In fact, we have fruit trees here. Um, this outdoor seating area is adjacent to the, to the kitchen. This is our new cafeteria. Um, this is the servery and you can see from the servery that it's uh, all new and expanded from our original hospital. We have a coffee bar here. We've got the fresh fruits and vegetables and, and, and uh, salad bar. And then the main servery has a, a grill for fresh meats and fish, as well as our prize, pride and joy over here is the pizza oven. So we have this wonderful new pizza oven. We'll be baking pizza here every day. The new hospital came about as a result of uh, state mandated 
uh, seismic upgrades. In other words, hospitals throughout the country, throughout the state, are at risk because of uh, earthquake activities in the state of California, and that net became most apparent after the North Rutgers earthquakes in, earthquake in 1984. And so, legislation was passed that all acute care hospitals in the in the state have to meet more stringent uh, earthquake safety standards. Our hospital was uh, opened in 1954, and it certainly did not meet the requirements for that they had at that time for 2012 and then again more stringent requirements for 2030. So we were faced with an uh, option, either rebuild or retrofit. Retrofit was just not possible for that building and so we decided to rebuild and uh, with our partner Sutter Health um, this became a reality. We were able to do this without any public funds, without, uh, without a tax to the community. Um, it's a challenge that every hospital faces because this is also an unfunded mandate by the state of California. So there are no funds just sitting there saying, okay, you have to rebuild, here you go. We've all had to come up with a plan to be able to rebuild. And fortunately, we've been able to do that right here in Castro Valley. My name is Travis Maley. I am the uh, Clinical Education Coordinator for Eden Medical Center. We're in uh, one of the operating room suites here at Eden Medical Center, the, in the brand new building. Um, each one of these operating room suites has the latest uh, technology uh, from the striker. Um, each room can do any type of surgery at any time of the day. Um, each room has the ability to uh, cater to the needs of each individual surgeon who's doing their individual types of surgery. So this room could be an orthopedic room, it could be a trauma room, it could be a neurovascular room, it could be um, a neurosurgical room. Each room has has the ability to do basically any type of surgery at any time. In respect to being a staffer at Eden, how important is that to have every room be able to do whatever you uh, need it to do? Basically? Yeah, it's, it's vitally important because uh, it, it creates a better flow within the operating rooms. Um, it means that the patients uh, are not waiting for a specific operating room to become available for a specific need. Uh, you know, it, it means that the flow and the patients get what they need when they need it. When we had the opportunity to do the main arc for the uh, lobby, this was, uh, was really important to us. And if you look very closely at the etched uh, illustration here, this is Lake Chabot. Uh, that is an image of Lake Chabot on, in the glass. Um, and it was taken by Wanda Worthington of Worthington Photography in Castro Valley. So it's a really um, celebrating our local community and letting them know that you will always find light and help and human kindness here at Eden Medical Center. The original hospital was built because it was there was a tremendous need in this community for a major medical center. There was nobody serving the area during the time of the baby boom and the TB outbreaks. And, of course, the mission of the hospital was always to evolve to meet the needs of the community. And today, that need is so great. And uh, this hospital has become a, a beacon for the for not just Castro Valley, but all of Alameda County. We're the trauma center for the county. A critical mission with for as part of the overall emergency services for this community. Um, we are a cancer center, a stroke center. We have uh, state-of-the-art facilities that our community depends on. What the, and it, it wasn't just rebuilt. We can't just take our old hospital and rebuild what we have. We had to rethink how we provide care to our community and what were the most critical needs of the community. And one of those that came about was the need for urgent care. And so in our medical office building, there's a new urgent care center, which is, you know, if your child has an ear infection or something comes up in the middle of the night or any time of the day that it, it's not life threatening, um, but you don't want to sit and wait for five hours in an emergency room, you can go into an urgent care center and receive treatment at a lower cost, but also a, a full spectrum of treatment. So it's, a, it's definitely a huge need in this community. There is no uh, real urgent care with a hospital behind it. So this is, uh, this is fantastic. I think um, as a healthcare provider, um, Eden is, is you know, so important to this community. And now to be seismically safe, and to know that this will be here and able to continue to serve after a major disaster is so important. One of the things that's happening at the same time that we're moving in is we're converting to the electronic health record. 
So not only are we moving into an entirely new work environment, but an entirely new system of operations for all of the clinical staff and, and having a, an electronic medical record. So it's a major transformation for us culturally and technology. No more clipboards? No. Well, we'll still see some clipboards, but all of that, all of the patient rooms have a workstation in them so that the clinical staff can document right there at the bedside. The another technological advancement that we have here is the pneumatic tube system. And what's really funny is when the uh, original hospital opened, it did have a pneumatic tube system in it, um, and uh, very old school by today's standards. But uh, we stopped using that in the 80s with some expansion to the hospital. This. Um, this is a, the latest and greatest. This is used specifically for transporting uh, uh, pharmaceuticals as well as lab uh, work that needs to go uh, throughout the department. So there's, there's less time in transport, there's more immediate uh, receipt for diagnostics or for administering meds, and then uh, more uh, immediate uh, response from the clinical team. We're in a typical patient room. Right now we're on the fourth floor of our neuroscience center. And this is uh, our, our private patient room. This is typical of most floors. Um, we have the, the bed here with the bed rails and then right across is a flat screen TV. And all of the amenities they need are right within the bed. In fact, we even have a patient lift system to help our, our staff um, preserve their backs and bones and be able to lift patients with, uh, with ease. Um, the, there is also a family area over here um, that allows uh, family members to stay overnight in the hospital with the patient. Um, and also every patient room has a private bathroom and shower. This is a, a vast difference from the old hospital. The old hospital had some private rooms, but most of them were two and four bed wards. So uh, you will often had a roommate, as long as it was a compatible roommate in terms of um, sex and, and disease and infection issues. Um, but also a limited pr patient privacy. You had just a, a screen, and that's how it is in most hospitals. So now it's a completely private room. A caregiver can come in and close the door. There's also in the window shades so that um, the clinical staff can look in. We can still have the door closed, but the clinical staff can still observe the patient. Everything is monitored electronically. We also have the capability of monitoring from a central monitoring station. So we have techs whose only job is to monitor those patients and make sure that if there's anything wrong at all, they alert the staff right away. So it's 24-7 uh, monitoring of dedicated staff to that area. It's, it's phenomenal. And then having a patient, a private bathroom, and a private shower um, just aids in the comfort of the patient and families. You're not walking down a hallway to use the restroom. You're not sharing a bathroom with another patient. Um, this is your room. And the rooms are large enough to accommodate therapies and nutrition counseling, everything they need. We're back here in the garden at Eden's uh, new dining area, and this is gonna be the home of the open house that we're having for our community to welcome them to our new medical center before we open. So two months in advance of us opening, we're inviting our whole community to come here and see our new hospital, take a, one of our guided tours of specific areas of the facility. It's on Saturday, September 29th from 11 to 2 p.m. And anyone is invited? Everyone's invited and it's free. We have activities for kids. We have some health information. We've got some food. In fact, we're even inviting food trucks to come on if people are really hungry. So we've got uh, some exciting things planned.